would you be in favour of some loose confederation of European states? I mean, do, do you... Do you agree with those writers who say that we are facing a clash of civilizations now, not a clash of countries, as is often the case in the 19th and 20th centuries, but an actual clash of civilizations in which Islam will be pitted against a vaguely Christian West? Um, yes, I do, I do accept the clash of civilization views. I do accept that there is an Islamic problem, although solving the Islamic problem is very largely a problem of removing... Um, is uh, Muslims from our country and returning them to their own countries mm -hmm. or wherever they wish to to settle within their own countries um, um, but I don't see why that needs to um, have any form of political unity all it needs to for is, is for individual uh, non-Islamic countries um, to maintain rational foreign policies which involve not letting Muslims into their own country um, and deal with putting down any Muslim threats when and where they arise mm -hmm. I don't, I don't see any need for anything above the normal form of, um, well, a military alliance when it's needed, oh, if see. and when it's needed. I see. You wouldn't be in favour of, for example, allowing freedom of movement within, between European states, although maintaining tight immigration control from without? Um, well, even though there are basic racial similarities between many of the people within Europe. Um, nevertheless, there still are differences. Um, whether it is totally wise, you know, to allow the whole population of Slovakia, for example, to, to come into Britain is, is, is clearly it's not as, as great a problem as having the whole of Namibia or the subcontinent of India suddenly come into Britain. In other words, there's a greater identity uh, in terms of both racial and ethnic identity and social and political values between, say, the population of Slovakia. But I'm not, nevertheless, not sure that it's still um, a wise thing to do. So, um, basically, I, I don't see the need for any form of supranational organisation whatsoever, um, insofar as, as there, is, there is any form of political threat um, and a military alliance is needed, then you just you resort to a traditional military alliance. Mm. Should, should one be needed. I'd see no need for any supranational organisations which are invariably used anyway by the ruling class to then to try and generate the whole transnational movement yet again. And, mm. and I, again, I just think that's something that libertarians are not... They haven't really quite caught on to what's going on in the real world, largely because they don't have or don't use their class analysis properly. Um, um, the fact is that... Um, um, transnationalism is, 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 you know, the predominant means by which ruling classes are now trying to um, um, secure their hegemony, their political controls upon their respective countries.